Hi, I'm Adam Smith and I'm one of the co-founders of Wrangle. Wrangle helps companies make Slack more productive by driving faster decisions and ensuring that no work slips through the cracks. And we do this by making it really fast and easy to design and launch recurring approval workflows and help tickets all in Slack. So today I'm going to take you through how an employee or colleague would use an existing Wrangle workflow that's already built, like this one here. We're going to go through each step of an intake form of giving information about that individual employee, launching an approval that we tag certain individuals with explicit buttons to approve or reject, and then launching, in this case, onboarding tasks to get that employee onboarded. In another video, I'll take you through how you would design and how easy it is to drive decisions through your company with forms and approvals and tasks and how easy they are to create. But in this case, let's go and launch this existing employee workflow right in Slack. And the nice thing about Wrangle is you can launch workflows from anywhere in Slack, any channel, any location, um, and anyone in your organization can launch those flows. And they, they can do that in several ways. We have an app where there's actually a start approval uh, button in there. There's also the search bar where they can type out things like, in this case, let's type work or wrangle, and they can click start a workflow there. You can also hit the shortcut menu, or just like you're launching a GIF, you could type slash command, type workflow, and there start a workflow with wrangle. So I'll go ahead and click that. And the users are already uh, presented with a way to kick off any workflow in your organization. Let's choose an employee onboarding here. I'll start workflow. And so, as you remember, when I showed you the layout of that um, specific workflow, we've got a form that I'm presented with. It asks me all the key questions that I need. These forms are totally up to you to design, but in this case, I've got a new employee I want to hire, so I'm going to fill out the information. I can pick who the manager is. I'll say myself right now. Uh, the start date, maybe they're going to start June 15th here. And the offer location is, I'll just type a fake link, but this will be automatically hyperlinked when posted. So I'll go ahead and submit this. So I'm a manager, I'm hiring Jane Doe. I'm gonna go ahead and submit this for approval. So I submit it. It's automatically posted in a help channel. In this case, probably you can imagine this channel is for new employee onboarding. Most of the use cases that we see are for a recurring approval requests like feature requests, facility requests, bug reports, marketing requests, etc. But this is a case we're talking about a new employee. And you see that it's been posted in the channel. Uh, in this case, everybody in the channel can see it. We can see that it's in progress. Um, we can see who it's for. Everything from the form has followed through, so people just looking through can see exactly that the manager is Adam Smith, um, the employee name is Jane Doe, and all that information from the form. They can click and go to that offer location in this case. But also, if they want to dig in, they can open the thread. And so everything that we do is threaded, so it keeps information together. We can have a conversation Maybe we want to talk about this higher and go back and forth there. You can see that once that form was kicked off, we notify the original requester that it was underway. And we've sent uh, thread tags to each of these two people to approve it. So in this case, I'm one of them, so I'm going to approve it. And when I approve it, a few things are going to happen. Go ahead and do that. First, I'll start in the main channel. You'll notice that originally, the verify offer accepted step was in progress. Now it's marked as fully approved, so anybody scrolling through the channel can see it. And now we've automatically added the task step that came next. So that's just been launched. We didn't launch a whole new message to crowd your channels. Instead, we've edited that original message, and now this is in progress. Again, you can dive in on the thread, and all the context is there. We have the initial information from the form. We have that it was approved and by whom. Uh, we have all that context of any discussion we had. The original person was notified, and now we've kicked off specific tasks for hiring Jane. We've got adding email and add her to SSO, mail her a shirt and mug. And so these tasks, as they're being done, we mark who's doing them, when they were done, 
and we cross them off as they go so people can see as that's happening. But sometimes you need to edit things ad hoc. Maybe Adam Wong in this case is out of town, so I could remove him. Or maybe there's a specific new task that is only relevant for Jane. I can add that. This won't affect any future workflow, but it gives the, you the ability to be flexible on a regular basis, capture all the information you need, um, and to watch that work as it's being done. When it's all done, you'll notice that it's marked that it's done and the original requester is notified that the task itself is done. We marked over here that they're completed. And in the app itself, we track everything for you. So you can go and look at a history of all your past decisions. I'll show you in another video how you have the ability to look at each individual decision and how that worked, as well as the overall workflow performance itself for KPI analysis to see where you might have bottlenecks. And in addition to pre-built workflows, you can also launch ad hoc approvals and ad hoc requests for one-off items that you may need to track. You can also turn individual messages like this with the more options menu into one-off approvals or tasks and I'll show you how to do that in other videos as well. Thanks for using Wrangle and don't hesitate to contact us with any questions or feedback.